So welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is JB Reviews and I am sitting inside of a 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie with the black appearance package. So this is a shout out video. This is for a 64 pilot. He is actually deployed in Afghanistan. He just ordered a 2019 Ram just like this truck. Now I don't know the options you chose, but this truck has a lot of options on it. So hopefully some of these options you have, maybe you have all of them too. But I want to do give you a special shout out, man. Thank you so much for serving this country, man, and going out there and fighting for us, man. I appreciate it. And again, this video is just for you, man. I hope you like it. Let's get started. So 64 Pilot, you do get this seven inch cluster standard on a Laramie. This is going to be the first option that you see. You'll see a number at the very top. It's going to show your speedometer there. If you want to use kilometers, you can. You just have to click over there, and then this clicks you back over to miles per hour. On the second option here, this is going to show you all of your information for the truck, like your tire pressure monitor is going to be the first thing. And you can actually sk skip over, and you'll see your coolant, trans temp, oil pressure, boost pressure, and of course your diesel particulate filter oil life, fuel filter life, and it's gonna be a battery voltage, exhaust brake, gauge summary, so it's gonna give you a list of all your uh, gauges just on this one viewing. And then it's gonna show your engine hours, and then it jumps back over to your tire pressure. And of course, this is gonna be for your fuel economy. You do have two options here. I guess if you wanna do like a trip A, trip B, you can do that on this. This is actually new for 2000 and 19 i believe i don't believe mine had a trip a and trip b that you can use there uh, but it does the current does go away on like the b because I, I look at these two lines below here a and b and then you can kind of see that you don't have that current i guess that gives you like the instant mpg for the truck and then on one option it doesn't give it to you at all so let's keep scrolling down this is a fourth um, option that you have up here trip information now this is your trip a and then you do have a trip b too and then trailer towing, and this is gonna be like, if you do tow a trailer with your truck, it's gonna show the mileage here for you. And then this is gonna show you your, so my foot's on the brakes, and you could actually change the gain off to the side right here. So, of course, this is a brand new truck. No one's been towing with the trailer, so we can just put that at zero. And XM radio, shows you your whatever radio station you're on, or if you're playing a uh, your Bluetooth for your iPod or whatever, or you're doing Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then you have your any messages that would be stored would be stored in here. So if you have like any kind of check engine light or something like that, it will actually store it in here. Like if you have a bulb out warning, headlight bulb is out, it'll store here too. And then going on down, you can customize this screen. So just really quickly, if I, I clicked in on this one here, it does illuminate red inside. You can change it to whatever you like here. I mean, you can change it to your outside temperature, your time, range till empty. And I mean, there's just so many different ways to customize this truck. Man, my truck is actually supposed to be here soon. It's actually 60 miles away from here. And it's just sitting. It's been there for almost a week now. I don't know why it's just sitting there, but hey, it is what it is. I guess I'll get it when I get it, right? But of course, down below, it shows you your, your mileage that you have on the truck, fuel, diesel exhaust, fluid, RPMs and then of course your miles per hour. So let's go ahead and jump over to the 12 inch display. So here's the 12 inch display. Of course on each side you're gonna have your climate controls. They do give you a screen off button off to the side here and a, a mute button on the left side of the screen. And then down below you're gonna have your panel that's gonna be actually inside the screen. I know it's kind of dark here unfortunately, but you can actually pick whatever you want. You can pick controls for your seats. You can pick for your audio controls. Of course you have your apps navigation if you click it down here you can do a full screen for navigation and what's also cool about the screen is you do have a home button at the top and it will actually give you the split level so this is my Apple CarPlay what I love about the Apple CarPlay is of course you can use all your Spotify and it's all integrated into the screen but I like the Waze app too if you haven't had a chance to use that app I mean it's probably one of the best apps out there because it helps you find out where the police are if there's on the, on the highway helps relocate you if there's any traffic I mean I feel like it works really well overall now normally there's like a little a little line here to help you to like push this um, this information up top I don't see that and I wonder if it's because of the Apple CarPlay 
Um, let me hit home. If I hit home again, it'll take us back here. I'm gonna unplug my Apple CarPlay and see what happens. All right, so I just unplugged Apple CarPlay and it looks as though, let me hit home one more time. So there it is, so I see it now. So you do have this option and it doesn't look like it's available if you're on Apple CarPlay. So you can actually move your, move this. If you want climbing to be up top, you can do that. And of course, vice versa for anything that you have chosen here. For example, so if you have, again, navigation, you scroll to the right there, you can actually push climbing up top and put navigation below. I love that they've done that. And again, this system is just so customizable. I mean, there's just so many things about this truck that just make it such a, you know, a number one truck for right now. Now, this truck does not have the camera system, unfortunately. Um, that's probably the only thing this truck probably doesn't have. I mean, it has a good amount of options on it. But on the off to the left of the screen, you do have your full wheel drive system. And as you saw, it has that push button start. Steer this steering wheel is basically about the same as the previous generation. I mean, just the bottom design of this steering wheel is uh, probably the most difference I see. And just all of the, the bits and pieces that they use for it a little bit differently too. But these buttons are carryover. And then the buttons on the left side are all carryover. But this is new. This uh, gear limit used to be on the shift column here. You do have all your controls for your lighting. And then you have your controls for your, your screen too if you want to dim it. On your door, you do have your your seat memories to the left, kind of like where they put this at too. It's in a little bit better spot. I do know on some of the uh, Chrysler products, they might put it on the side of the seat. And I actually like this area where they put it at here. Now this does have this these nice aluminum door handles. Because of course, if you get the black appearance, you have to get a black paint for the exterior. And you have to get a black interior. Now, I mean, I've shown this to you in the past. I'll show it to you really quickly. You do have this button that will control your convex mirror. So if you need to move that around, it's so much easier than on the previous generation where you had to do it with your hand and have your wife do it on the other side. Of course, it's gonna have those power uh, mirrors there on the outside and it has that super bright LED there too for you. And steering wheel is still gonna be, it's gonna be a tilt, but it does not telescope. Now up top, you do have your home link system. This truck was equipped with a sunroof too. Take a look at that bad boy. Let's open it up and see how, how it works. I'm, I'm gonna vent it first. It's tilt up and then it is one touch. I don't know if you saw that, but this is a one touch uh, sunroof. And then one touch slide. Let's see how far it goes back. Okay, I'm gonna hit it one more time. So I'm hitting it one more time and nothing's happening. So that's as far back as this sunroof will go. Now, if you need to close it, it's gonna be one touch again. So very easy to use, very quiet actually too. You're gonna to have LED lighting on these higher trim levels. Laramie Enough is gonna give you the LED lights. And of course you can control your, your inside lights inside the truck if you need them all on front and rear. And of course you can drop the tailgate in the rear too. Now I can't do that because there's a truck right behind me. I'm gonna move the truck out here in a second. And what I love about this generation uh, Ram is they do give you a sunglass holder up top too. And you still have your area up here where you can store things too with a power outlet, 12 volt. On the passenger side, you do have some storage, top and bottom. And again, just take a look at this really nice interior. I mean, just everything about this interior is just top notch. I mean. You know, if I were to get a Laramie, I would have to get it without the light interior because this sway over time is gonna get dirty um, in that lighter interior. You can tilt these headrests too. That's actually new for 2019. And let's take a look at the center console. This center console is so versatile and so easy to use. I mean, you have a nice little, I guess, suede inside of here with the USB. I mean, this truck has a ton of USBs. And of course you have more storage on the bottom below here. And then they give you like a bunch of measurements for the truck um, on, on, the, on the large part of the, of the center box here. This gives you some measurements, which will probably come in useful for you, man, since you're in the military. And of course this center, Tray here slides forward and back. 
and they give you some coin holders and this does come out too I'd like to point that out because in my truck this always gets really dirty and i'll just fill up a bucket of water and i'll normally put these types of things inside of there to let it soak get all the sticky stuff off and you have a deep 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 uh center you know center here of course this truck does come with the uh, ram charger i'm pretty sure this probably has like a laramie level 2 package if it has this we'll take a look at the window sticker here in a second and of course they, you can put your phone here and like you can slide your your cord uh, um, between this here so you don't you know you don't bend it too much and damage it down below you do have a power outlet it's gonna be a 400 watt 115 volt c player tons of usbs and of course, diesel exhaust rate, tow haul mode, front and rear parking sensors. And so you've seen pretty much on the front of this truck. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's on the window sticker and see what options and features this truck has. So this is the truck that we're looking at today. It's a 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Crew Cab four wheel drive. Base price on that model is gonna be $52,000. And this truck was equipped with a Cummins motor. And then here's just a quick look at what you have in terms of features on this truck now just below there you do have that diamond black crystal pearl coat exterior paint $100 it's the only color you can get for the black appearance now the black appearance is going to be $22.95 and it's going to give you those really nice black headlight um, housings body colored handles and grill surround it's going to give you those 20 inch off-road tires Painted front and rear bumpers, and it has the power folding black trailer tow mirrors, and they're going to have memory too. This truck was equipped with the off-road package also, with the bill of seams front and rear, transfer case, skid plate, and this truck did have the Laramie Level 2 package. I was actually kind of guessing. I was wondering if I was going to be right, and I was. So that package is $3,995. Now you do have that anti-spin rear differential, 445. Cummins is gonna come in at $9,100. Now that Cummins does have 850 pound-feet of torque and 370 horsepower. Power sunroof, 1095. Clearance lamps, 95. Uh, LED bed lighting, it's gonna be 165. It's gonna have those wheel-to-wheel -wheel black painted running boards. I strongly recommend you skip that option, in my opinion, because they do get scratched pretty good. And uh, you connect 4C navigation 1295, spray and bed liner 565, destination at 1695, with a total price of $74,680. Ooh, uh, 64 pilot. I don't know how tall you are. Now, I have the seat all the way back. Now, and I have it actually leaned back just a little bit just to kind of get a good uh, idea. My, my knees are hitting the back of the seat. I am pretty tall. I'm all legs. I don't have a lot of torso. My legs are really long. So my I am hitting here, but this seat, I can come up, up at least three inches and then I'll be pretty comfortable in the truck. But as you see, I mean, this rear, this if you like black interior, this thing comes all black. I mean, there is no denying. I mean, you have some nice piping on the seat, on the front and rear seats too. They give you this nice little suede. Again, I don't like this suede on a lighter color interior. They should have just made all this leather because I can see over time this getting really grimy on like lighter color interiors. But I just like the accents. I like the silver with the black. I mean, they didn't make it all black, which is good. Now they do have this piece here. It gives you a nice little accent. Let's see if you can see it better in the sun. So that's what it looks like in the sun there. It has like a carbon fiber look, but it's not carbon fiber. Nice little fabric on the door. And then of course around the speaker has that nice chrome surround too. This look at look, it just looks really good. It flows really well. I mean, it's, it is a black interior, but it's not so dark in here that it's, you know, it, it makes you feel depressed, I guess. And again, the back seat has a ton of space. You have the storage just right below there on the, on the uh, floor on both sides. And then of course you have your heated seats for that level two USBs and you get a power outlet back here too. So there's two power outlets, front and rear. And one thing I wanna mention, if you do buy a Laramie, you do not get ventilated seats standard anymore. That is an option. So keep that in mind if you're ordering these trucks. Now these seats do fold up, they are 60-40 split. Uh, they do give you some cup holders back here too. Just below these floor mats, they give you some more cup holders. There's like, there's tons of, 
of, of cup holders back here. I mean, four just in the center here. I don't think there's any on the door. There's not any on the door, but you have, you have two down here, two up top, and you have two in the center armrest here too. So that's six cup holders just in the back of this truck. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look on the outside of this truck so I can show you guys uh, this the overall boat and appearance of this truck. The one thing I like about the black appearance package is these headlights. I know a bunch of guys in the future are gonna find these headlights and they're gonna swap them onto their truck if they don't come from the factory. I mean, they really make the truck look aggressive. I think these headlights will look good on a white truck too. I wish that the sport appearance had this as an option. But as I mentioned, you get it all black. I mean, that is a beast of a truck. I mean, man. Even the new Laramie wheel design looks really good with this black appearance package. I love how the fog lights are very thin. It gives it more of that modern look now. I think that this truck's going to start looking really timeless for time to come. Now, of course, every light inside of the, your low beam all the way up to your high beam here are going to be LED. Now, your running light will be LED too, but these turn signals are going to be incandescent on Laramie levels and down. Oh, snap. I see that this uh, fender has come out a little bit. I'm not going to bother it. I'll probably just let them know inside. But if you do get that off-road package, you're going to have those blue shocks. You cannot get Villastines on the 3500s, of course. You only can get this package on a three-quarter ton truck. And, of course, that's your Cummins diesel. And then, as I mentioned on the inside of the truck, is these, these running boards scratch really easy just on this side here. So I would probably recommend foregoing these until maybe they move this plastic piece maybe over some maybe down this way to kind of protect this they look great though i mean when they're not scratched i'm pretty sure they look amazing of course your def and your cap for your diesel they actually redid this a little bit they have these little slits here i don't know why they did that so now this doesn't really fit that flush. So I guess I would probably go on Amazon and buy a diesel cap for this. So you don't get stuff inside your, your diesel fuel. Of course, you're going to have that 4x4 badge, off-road badge. All your three-quarter ton trucks, if you buy a Ram, are going to have these this four-link coil spring suspension. You do have Billstein shocks in the rear of the truck, too. I've always mentioned in my previous videos that you should get the bed utility group because it gives you that spray in bed liner. It also gives you the LED bed lighting and it gives you the deployable bed step too for $6.95. And if you saw what the, bed, the spray in bed liner was with these LEDs um, and it doesn't have the bed utility, it's actually more money you have to spend. So just keep that in mind. This truck does not have the high mount camera. I would strongly recommend you get that option too. But look at the back of this beast. Man, that looks so aggressive with the black on the taillights. These are basically the same taillights on the half ton truck, but that's actually a really good thing. Take a look at that, wow. It looks so mean. This truck will look so good with a leveling kit on it and with some Ridge Grappler tires. Maybe like a 295-65. For this model year, they did put those parking sensors on the bottom too. It makes the truck look a little bit more cleaner because on the in the past they normally put them right here. So it is kind of you see like two dots on the back on each side of your bumper, and I think I like how they put them on that plastic part on below there. So when you come to JB Reviews, you're always going to see the mirrors down end up in tow mode tell me that doesn't look aggressive 
Now you do have your clearance lamps, which is an option. I strongly recommend if you're gonna buy a heavy duty truck, you get that as an option. And of course you have your, your antenna for your radio and then your Sirius XM and, and probably navigation right there. Let's go ahead and fire up these headlights so I can show what they look like lit up. So this is with your daytime running lights on. This is with your caution lights and turn signals. And this is your low beam headlights on. Now take note that when you have your low beams on, you're gonna have your mirror uh, lights on the side there. And of course your clearance, clearance lamps are gonna come on too. Right, this is for you 64 pilot here we go wow a lot of power so this truck definitely has a lot of performance when it comes down to get up and go all I can say is I cannot wait till I get my new 19 Ram because I cannot wait to put my trailer behind it and see how well these brakes are I mean I, I just hit the brakes pretty hard just now and I, I, I almost, it almost threw me out of my seat actually. So now you guys have seen the inside and outside of the truck. Let's go take a look at the payload. So here are your numbers for your gross axle weight rating for the front and rear. Your front's gonna have a 6,000 pound gross axle weight rating for, for a diesel model. And for the rear, it's gonna be 6,040 pounds. Gross fuel weight rating is always gonna be 10,000 pounds. And this truck, with all the options that it has, has a 2,025 pound payload capacity. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. 64 Pilot, thank you again for serving this country. Um, and I hope you liked the video, made it just for you. <laughs> and like I said, it was kind of hard to find this truck. That's why it took me a little bit longer time. And this truck basically just got here. So when I saw that this truck was here, I actually took some time off from work and just came out here and just really quickly did a video for you. But uh, like I said, again, hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.